So Adobe Firefly got a new update. Let's check out the new features here. You got generative match. You can now adjust the actual underlying photo itself with settings available. Furthermore, it now gives us prompt suggestions. So if we're a little lost, we can get specific types of images that we maybe not have thought of before. We can even share our Firefly creations. Let's go jump in. Welcome back to Corbin AI, y'all. So we're gonna be checking out Adobe Firefly here. This is an AI image creator, kind of like Dali, kind of like Mid Journey. This is from, you know, the big boy, the big company here called Adobe. They have their own version of this. Pretty interesting stuff here. Obviously, a lot of this stuff you can do in Photoshop as well. For example, generated fill we can do in Photoshop. Although I'm gonna just test this out. We're gonna play around with this a little bit. As you see here, they got this a bunch of cool different features we can do here. I mean, honestly, this is a really great way to showcase it. I think the biggest thing, um, as you see from the difference here, look at you can already see the difference from right here, basically. The left is Firefly 1, the right is Firefly Image 2, so the new model. You see drastic improvements here. So pretty cool stuff from Adobe. One thing that I've noticed, at least what I've seen online, is a lot of people are saying that it does nature pretty well. Like, uh, you know, like nature shots, like Natural Geographic. Supposedly it does that pretty well. So knowing that, let's go and play around with this. And the first thing I'm gonna try here is gonna be basically Honestly, let's just try the auto filled, you know, prompt here. Let's hit generate. Okay, so I'm assuming because that was an auto fill prompt, it that's why it generated like literally instantaneous. So let me actually try a different prompt here. I'm gonna say, uh, actually, let me move in the middle, y'all. Let's say elephant. Let me zoom in for y'all as well. Elephant in the wild. Oh, look at that. There's the suggestions here with a top hat on. Okay, top hat portrait of an amazing animal standing next to an ox, image tone retro style. All right, this is some really random stuff from Adobe here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate here, and then we're gonna play with the settings on the right here. All right, so this is what I expected here. It takes a little time to generate. It's not instantaneous. Okay, so first thing I wanna identify here is that I have it set to art. So I think the cooler thing about this is going to photo, as that is where we saw some crazy outputs coming from Adobe Firefly. So as you see, it switched to photo over here. I'm gonna generate again. This seems like a more powerful feature I found on this AI image creator relative to other ones. So here we go. Like this is pretty cool stuff here. I think this is probably the best one out of all of them. Now just see if we can edit this. Okay. Show similar. Interesting. Okay, let's start playing around with this a little bit. So we show similar here and just for reference, I'm under the impression this is free. I think you just need an Adobe account. So I'll leave the login for Adobe Firefly in the description up below. Not as good. Really random, <laughs> three little cars were put on the side there. I don't know why that was done. Let's see what we got going on here. Remove background. Okay, this could be cool. So this is gonna use a different tool in the Adobe suite here that I'm familiar with that will essentially remove the background here. Let me go to get all this stuff out of the way. Chill on me. Wow, okay, this is freaking cool, y'all. Wow, okay. Okay, 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 okay. They're stepping up their game here. This is cool. So I was able to just grab the elephant right away. Good to go. That's really, really cool. Let's go and see what else we can do here. Let's try a different prompt first off. Let's say um, tourist in, let's see, let's use one of these, in desert and reflection on water. Okay, I'm gonna stick with photo, y'all, just because I like photo. I think that's the, the coolest thing about this relative to other features is gonna be photo. Art seems standardized. We've seen a lot of art in this niche. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. This is probably the best. Uh, obviously, it's not amazing at doing the face. <laughs> um, add text or more, interesting. So what is it? I, I'm assuming this is just a drag and drop thing here. Okay, so they're kind of basically, you know, you leveraging their ecosystem, right? So at the end of the day, they have an ecosystem here already built, it's Adobe. So they have an ecosystem already built here. So this is basically where I could basically edit more of the image. So as we could probably already assume, that is a pretty advantageous thing to have in your AI image creator it is basically a software on top of that like Canva that lets you edit further here. So let's see some other stuff here. Uh, hyper realistic here to generate again and see what it comes up with. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay, not not bad. Let me see. Not bad. Interesting though. Um, I mean, this kind of looks like uh, Half-Life 2 or something like that. Like I'm playing Gary's Modder, something of that nature. 
Let's go ahead and take that off real quick. Layered paper. Okay, this is cool. So this seems like they have the preset uh, filters. That's cool. This actually is kind of going more in the direction of like not mid journey. Mid journey is much more like you need to know, you need to know how to prompt it and even dial it. You need to know how to prompt it. You need to know what to say. You need to you need to know you need to know how to talk to it. If I can speak, this though it seems to be a lot more user friendly. Like this seems like a really cool. This would be a really cool desktop, honestly. So this seems a lot more user friendly in the context of if you have limited to zero AI image generation skills in the context of prompting. Like me personally, I'm only good at ChatGPT and AI language model prompting, not really art prompting. This has actually seemed like a better platform. Let me go to go ahead and go portrait. Let's try a different style here. Let's try a different vibe here. Let's go to go ahead and say, um, uh, Pelican. And let's see what the suggestions are with a broken open bill flying over water. All right, if you say so. And then we can add more features here. It seems like there's a ton of different effects we can do here. Whoa, okay. Whoa. All right, so there's a lot of effects we can do here. Interesting. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so here we go. I mean, this is this is what we're talking about here, y'all. This is pretty solid stuff. We're gonna get to a point here where we really can't tell the difference. Now let's go ahead and try one another, another one of these features here. Supposedly, we can reference another image, kind of like when you do Google search, you click on images, like similar images. Let's go ahead and check out um, and reference an image here. All right, so basically one thing we know with any type of companies, you know, there's a lot of design, a lot of user interface. I think this would actually be pretty cool here if we could take this image here and reference something like, you know, something, something like this, like a 3D thing, right? Um, this would actually be pretty useful in the context of getting certain designs for a website. Okay, that is cool, y'all. That is solid. That's really solid. Honestly, I am. I, I was going with this. I wasn't expecting to be impressed, if I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. My original, I mean, wait, hold up. This is basically, hold up, let's try this. I'm gonna try this real quick. Um, person typing or person presenting a chart on marketing. So we all know the classic, this classic clip bar right here. Come on, we all know this, right? We all have seen this kind of design. We've all seen this design. Um, I'm actually gonna take out photo. I'm gonna let it just be like very open and the way it presents this. We've all seen this photo though. I'm curious on how this comes out though. That's crazy y'all. That's really, really, really solid. So here's a couple things that just clicked in my head. First thing that's clicked in my head, if you know or not know, there's a lot of uh, monetization in the context of design. E.g., I've seen a lot of monetization, monetize, wait, monetization in this kind of context here, where essentially they'll provide an entire, um, you know, 50 to 100 files of this nature, so people can use it in their website, people can use it in their presentations and stuff like this. So that's a huge avenue there. On top of that. I'm really impressed y'all. This is, this right here is giving me, you could design a lot of cool stuff for your website. You could design a lot of cool stuff for different projects. This seems very, very powerful y'all. I will say this, if you know or not, no. And honestly, I should probably get the exact court case name. There is a court case that was done that you can't copyright this information. It has to have some type of influence or some type of work done to an extent to the courts where basically it's deemed that an a art basically what i'm trying to say here is that i'd have to take one of these i'd have to hire a freelance artist an artist would have to do a nut enough of a touch-up where the court would deem that you could copyright it but beyond all that this is really dope and i'm actually very impressed honestly i might actually start using this myself personally but this kind of concludes today's video we've kind of went over everything that we need to kind of understand about adobe firefly overall this seems like the way to go if you don't have skill or the knowledge of how to prompt in the context of AI image generation. DALE and MidJourney seem to, that requires a higher threshold when it comes to this. Now, here is what's crazy, y'all. Right now, I think in the entire industry, MidJourney 6, V6, is probably the best and most high quality generation you can get up to this point. That being said, though, years down the road, obviously, all these companies are kind of competing. So the type of quality we see with Mid Journey 6, we could easily see with Adobe Firefly in the future and maybe even better because they are a bigger company.
and they seem to have taken this stuff a lot more serious in the past year. Saying all that though, this is probably a really powerful asset that I just found. I'm actually going to probably use this personally. So if you felt like you learned something today, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here, basically going over new stuff in AI. And, you know, this goes from the Tesla robot. This goes from a little AI pin thing, stuff of this nature. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.